Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for advanced English learners. Let's get started. B2 C1 English Story A Shedful of Memories It was a warm July evening in the Cotswolds and Kim was feeling stuck in a rut. Quite literally, she had got herself locked in her family shed and was waiting for her brother to dislodge the door. She'd gone in there to clear out some of her old schoolwork and the rickety old door slammed shut in a sudden gust of wind. She was sweltering inside the shed and was gagging for water, but she remained calm and patient while her brother pottered around outside with a screwdriver and a hammer. While she was in there, Kim had plenty of time to reflect. She looked through photo albums, diaries and old boy band annuals and found herself drifting back to her childhood. She looked back on her life and wondered why she had made certain decisions. She hadn't tried at school and was often in trouble for being cheeky to the teachers. She left school with two A-levels and went on to work in a care home. Although she loved caring for the elderly, the pay was abysmal and she was often left feeling wrung out and stressed. If one of the residents in the home passed away, she often took it extremely hard and struggled to deal with the grief. She knew it was part of the job, but it wasn't for her. She was starting to wonder if getting locked in the old garden shed was a sign of fate so she could have some time to reflect. She knew it was going to be quite some time until her brother figured out what to do, so before she made herself comfortable, she looked around to check there were no mice, rats or other creepy crawlies. When she knew the coast was clear, she could relax until her rescue mission was over. She pulled out and dusted off an old deck chair and started to sift through the photographs, her chest was tingling with many different emotions, from sadness and frustration to pure joy. She found old black and white photographs of her parents and grandparents laughing and singing. She also came across Polaroids and newer photographs from her childhood, many of them she couldn't remember. Her brother could hear her chuckling away inside the shed. Don't mind me slaving away out here while you're having a blast in there, he shouted through the old wooden door. Kim and her brother, Paul, had always had a good relationship. He was five years older than her and had always looked out for her, even when she was being mischievous at school. Paul was the opposite to her in that he was a real goody two-shoes at school and excelled in pretty much everything he did, except, it seemed, helping her escape from a broken shed. He now worked as an electrical engineer and owned a lovely house just 20 miles away from their parents' house. Kim had also just bought a house five miles down the road from her parents. She had lived away for a few years but knew it was time to put down roots and move closer to her family. After all, they had looked after her while she was a child, so now it was time for her to be there for them. Not only that, but she had just scored a new job at a private care home as the entertainment manager. Things, she hoped, were looking up. Looking through the photos, she was reminded of her passion for playing the guitar and singing. She was in bands for most of her teenage years, but somehow lost confidence in her abilities. She put it down to teenage angst and not enjoying school. 
as she looked through the photographs of her with a pierced lip and bright red hair, she remembered how happy she felt performing and singing her songs. Sure, not all of her songs were number one hits, but they were definitely better than some of the tune's popular bands release. She scoured further in the boxes and found a trophy she received for Best Musical Theatre Performer 1999. <laughs> she forgot about that. She had played the role of Rizzo in Greece in a local musical theatre company production. Every night they performed to audiences in excess of 250 people. Instead of being anxious or nervous, Kim thrust herself into the limelight. Digging further in the box, she found old cassette tape demos she had recorded both with her band and for her own solo projects. They were accompanied by notebooks filled with lyrics. Some of them were terribly cheesy, but some of them were quite poetic. Kim didn't have the drive and passion for writing and performing anymore, but she still loved to sing, albeit in the shower or in her car. She hadn't sung in public, unless she was tipsy at the karaoke, since she was about 19. She stood up and lifted up some of the old rags in the shed to find some dusty artwork from school, some old pots and pans, and Underneath a random art canvas, there it was, her trusty old classic guitar. Kim lifted it up and started to try and tune it. It was in an awfully bad condition, but she played a little song. Her fingers just knew what to do. Even after ten years of not playing guitar, the music started to flow through her body. Surrounded by all her old music and memorabilia, Kim thought about what she could do to bring some fun and frivolity to her day job. She didn't have ambitions of being on the stage or in a band anymore. She knew how difficult that life could be. So instead, she thought about what her new role as an entertainment manager could involve. Of course, she would hire professional singers, performers and artists to come to the home and perform for the people who lived there, but perhaps from time to time she could sing to them and maybe, if they were up to it, she could teach them a few chords on the guitar. Before she knew it, an hour had passed and her brother was still tinkering with the shed door. Any joy? Kim said with a slightly raised voice. Almost there. Daddy's here now. He knows what to do. Kim chuckled to herself. <laughs> Typical. Dad to the rescue as always. Kim put the photographs away carefully, but she kept the ones of her in the musical and with her band. She had to remember that part of her that had once existed and still could exist if she wanted her to. Having that hour to reflect in the sweaty shed surprisingly did Kim the world of good. She knew now that she was lucky to have the promotion and that she had got the job at the care home for a reason. Kim was naturally good with people and had a caring nature. Now all she had to do was bring her musical talents to the role and show everyone what she was truly made of. She wasn't just a brilliant carer, she was a talented musician and performer. Now she had the chance to combine her two talents and she couldn't wait to get started. As Kim continued to tinker away on her guitar, she started to hear quite the ruckus outside the shed door. Finally, the door swung open and fresh air filled the shed. Kim's dad laughed at the sight of her with the guitar. Oh, good grief, he chuckled. You're not going to dye your hair multicoloured again, are you? What is your favourite teenage memory? And, if you're wondering, Shedful is a British English word and means a lot 
of something. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.